Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to do a very, very quick update of what I've just seen and I'm really, really starting to get pissed off with the whole situation around about Willy Monto. And I mean, I think we're getting to the point now where we're all getting fed up, aren't we? We're all getting fed up of all these rumours. It's been going on now for a good for a couple of months that uh, he's wanting to go to Everton and he wants to stay. Then Everton have been uh, pulled out of the race and all this type of stuff and then he doesn't want to go to Everton. So it's just like, why Why is he sending those messages? Why is he sending those these types of like signals saying that he wants to stay at Leeds United? And you know what? The amount of people that have seen the video, it's just under a thousand views in a few hours, which is fantastic. Loads of people, almost over 50 people commenting and completely agree with every single one of them. Get rid of him now. Do not care. It's embarrassing. It's disgraceful. It's disrespectful towards the club. Go. And as you can see on, on your screen right now, He's, I think he's trying to force his way out of the club because obviously he, he forced himself away from playing against Shrewsbury in the cup the other night and now look what he's doing. Look on your screen. He's liking um, posts of Everton, of him in an Everton kit. So that, in that to me, that indicates that he's, he's, he's done. He, he's sealed his move. He wants to be uh, an Everton player. For what? Why? What's so interesting about Everton? What's so fascinating about Everton? No offence to Everton, but with Sean Dyche, I don't see you doing much. Yes, I don't really think you're going to get relegated, but I really want you to because of everything that he's doing. It's like, I know I'm react it's more sort of a reactionary video, but at the same time, why disrespect me like that? Why disrespect the fans like that? We come to a game every week, week in, week out, and you try and sit there and say, like, like you're bigger than the club. You're forcing your cl uh, away from the club. Fair enough that the players like Max Vorber, uh, um, Adams and all these types of players who um, were expected to leave, fair enough. But they never tried to force the move away. You did. And I think that's why a lot of Leeds United fans, including myself, are kind of hurt, are kind of a bit, bit disappointed, in a sense losing so much respect for, for, your, for, for, your, for your name. Because at the end of the day, you just want to play in the Premier League, which is fine. Every, every player wants to play in the Premier League. But at the same time, do it in a manner where it's more respectful. So, I want him gone. Twenty million pounds, twenty-five million pounds is going to be the thing. If he's going to try force him, force himself away from the club, that means like the 49ers, that they, they're going to struggle to be able to get a decent amount of money for him because obviously Everton was still interested. They're highly interested, and eventually, I think he's going to become an Everton player. But at the same time, now if he's going to try and force his way out from the club, he's posting loads of stuff on social media about leaving the club and unhappy and how unsettled he is, blah blah blah. The 49ers are not going to be able to like sit here and be like, okay, well, no, we can hold on, we can hold on, we can hold on, we can try and negotiate the bid. He's going to force himself away to the point where he's going to be like Ryan Fraser, where he's going to be playing in the under 21s. So <laughs> I don't want a player like that, <laughs> you know, I don't want to play like that around uh, Ellen Road. So to me, it's a done deal. I think Everton are going to sign him. Just get him out of the way. Just get him away from the club. And and just have it like that. Because at the end of the day, if we get 20 million quid, 25 million quid, we can go out there and buy Perot. We can go out there and buy Hamer. You know, we can go out there and buy another right winger or a, a centre-back. So the opportunity is there to be able to invest in a team to, in a sense, improve the team. It's not just not the OFC. You know, so if we get him away from the club, we can bring two or three players in for for the same price. So it's, there's there is a positive situation out of that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel too, turn on the post notifications as well, so you don't miss a single video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.